Okay, so this is part two of the folder feature with Superpower Chat GPT. We previously had uh, the part one of the folder feature. Uh, we released it on YouTube. It talks about different features of the folder, how to create folder, change the color, um, drag and drop file into folder, those type of things. So if you wanna learn about the folder, make sure you watch the first part of the this video. In this uh, video, I'm going to talk about some new features of the folder that uh, we just released. So before we start, uh, as always, you need to go to Google, search for Superpower Chat GPT, click on the first link, and it will send you to this page. There is a button that says Add to Chrome. Click on this button. It will add the extension to your browser. Once you add the extension to your browser, go back to Chat GPT, refresh the page, and you'll have access to um the new features of the uh, superpower chat gpt so i'm going to show you uh the folder feature uh in this video so um previously we showed you that you can uh create folders by clicking on this button just click on this button and it will create a folder one uh new feature that is released um recently is the auto color Previously, all the folders that were created had like a shade of gray color. Um, you can still have that, but if you want, you can go to the setting, go to history, and turn the auto color folder on. And by turning this on, every new folder that you create will have a different random color. So you don't have to manually uh, change the color of those folders. Also, you can... Um, Previously, uh, with this refresh button, uh, if you didn't have the auto color, when you click on it, it would turn go back to the gray color. Now, if you click on this with the auto color, every time you click on it, it will give you a different random color. So if you're not happy with the first color, you can keep clicking on this until you find the color that you like. The um, automatic uh, coloring is, um, the code is designed in a way that it tries to pick a color that is more on the dark side or most of the time is on the dark side. So that way there is a contrast between the folder title and the uh, folder color. So that's the um, auto color folder. There is a new, um, uh, delete confirmation uh, for folder so previously when you like conversation when you click on the delete it will show you the uh, confirm and like um, cancel button right here but uh, with folder now you can click when you click on delete it will show you a more bigger uh, confirmation box and tell you that ask you if you want to uh, actually delete the folder also it lets you know that by deleting the folder, all the conversation inside the folder will be deleted as well. So you can just confirm it uh, like that. I'm also gonna change this delete button for conversation to work the same same way. So um, you uh, don't accidentally delete a uh, conversation that you want to keep. I'm gonna delete this other folder here. So that's the um, auto color feature and the um, the reset button uh, feature, also the uh, confirm, the delete confirm dialog. Uh, but another bigger feature that we just recently released is um, the ability to automatically group uh, conversation that are made with different custom GPTs into dedicated folders. So basically, um, to use this feature, first you need to go here, uh, click, uh, turn the custom GPT auto folder on. I'm gonna turn it back, um, turn it off for now. Um, just gonna explain the feature a little more. So basically every time you create a new conversation with a custom GPT, it will be, currently it will be saved in your conversation. You can of course create a folder and like try to save like all the conversation you created with the same custom GPT into like same folders. but that's going to be like a little uh, hard to do and like if you have a lot of conversation it's not going to be that easy so what this new feature does is it basically tell chat gpt that every time it create a new conversation with a specific chat uh, custom gpt put that conversation into its dedicated folder if there is no folder 
already existing for that custom GPT. If, uh, for example, if it's the first time you're may using a new custom GPT, it will automatically create a new folder for that custom GPT and it will save all the future conversation into that folder. Also, when you turned uh, when you turn on the this feature uh, at first, it will look at all of your conversation history. It will find all the custom GPT conversation and it will group them into different folders based on the GPT that was used in for that uh, conversation. I'm gonna show you how that works right now very quickly and um we can we can go from it okay so if i turn this on it will gonna it's gonna start doing the automatic grouping for folders so look at look at this sidebar uh the folder here i'm gonna turn this on it's gonna show me that and boom it automatically looked at all my conversation created a folder for each custom GPT that I've used in the past. It doesn't necessarily have to be in the list of uh, custom GPT up here. It can be any custom GPT that I've ever used and it will try to create a um, folder and save all the all the conversation in that folder. For example, if I go to this one paper with code, any conversation that I made here, if you look at uh, look up here, they are all made with the same custom GPT. So. Same thing with like other folders, like any conversation that I look at here made with the same custom GPT. So that's how this works. Um, one note about the auto coloring. So um, because we have the auto color uh, setting on in this in, in our setting, uh, when it when it create these new folders, it also tries to um, 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 color the folders randomly. Sometimes because this is random, it's possible that the colors are too close to each other or like similar or like it's not the color that you want. All you need to do is just go here and click on this refresh button and like get a different color for like the folder that you want. And it will just change the color to something that that's more that's easier to uh, read and easier to distinguish between the folders. So that's the uh, auto folder. Now also, like if I, like for example, go here and let's say, which one do I have? Open AI Navigator. So I currently have, look at, look at this conversation. I have one conversation in this folder. If I go here and just say, um, hi, it's gonna create a new conversation, conversation into that folder there you go so i created this new conversation and it was instead of the conversation being added to the list of conversation down here it was added to my uh folder for that custom gpt if i don't have any folder uh in the list it will try to create a um, new folder uh in my conversation list and it will uh, put that new conversation into that new folder that it just created so that's um, the, the these are the new uh, feature with uh, folders uh, part two of the folder. Um, so we talked about um, auto coloring folders. We talked about the new confirmation box for um, deleting folders. We talked about the um, auto grouping for like custom GPTs, and um, that's it. Um, Give this a try. This is a uh, this new feature is a pro feature, by the way. So you need the um, pro subscription to use this feature. Uh, give it a try. Let me know what you think. Uh, hope this helps uh, you organize your chats better. Uh, I've been using this um, over the last few days, and it's been very helpful. So uh, makes it easier to find the chats that you are looking for. So give it a try. Let me know what you think, and hope you like it. Thanks. Bye.